Hey guys, Steve here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. I'm in my office tonight, not in my workshop, because I want to do the third video in the series on this X-Tool P2 55 watt laser. I uh, just want to give you a brief overview of my thoughts of this machine, how I use this machine, and maybe a few little tips and tricks that will help you if you decide to purchase this machine also. Okay, the first thing I want to do is tell you how I use this laser in my business. Um, I do sell one product with this laser. I sell signature coins that woodworkers can put into their projects, and I won't go into that right now. Uh, but what I do on a daily basis is I design scroll saw patterns. Now, as most of you probably know, a scroll saw is not nearly as fast as a laser. And in the past, before I had my lasers, I would design my patterns, and if they were complicated and I needed to test the fit of the parts, I would go into the scroll saw, cut the parts out, assemble it, make sure everything was good, and then do my edits. Now what I do, I still occasionally do that because I enjoy the scroll saw, but what I often do now is I'll design the pattern, I'll reduce it to 50%, bring it in here to the laser, cut it out, fit it together, and make sure everything fits. And I can just show you a couple examples here of what I do. Things like this little dinosaur. This is reduced 50% from the original pattern, and I just wanted to make sure everything lined up well and everything. So after I designed the pattern for the scroll saw, I come over to the laser and cut it out. And I'll show you some more projects that I've done here also, but I design a new pattern almost every day, and I've been doing that for over 15 years. Uh, so as you can imagine, there's a lot of time involved in test cutting. So this laser has been really helpful for me in that procedure. Like I said in the last clip, I've designed new scroll saw patterns nearly every day for the last 15 years. Uh, so you can imagine I have literally thousands of patterns. And the good news, if you're interested, is all those patterns are available for free over at my blog, and I'll put that link in the description also. Uh, there, if you cut out the pattern, the project you make from that pattern, you're more than welcome to sell the project. Uh, just please don't take the patterns and try to resell them or use them for something other than making the projects. Now, I'll put the link to my catalog in the uh, uh, description below the video, so if you want to try some of these projects, not all of them will work with your laser, but many of them will. Uh, I design a lot of patterns from one quarter inch thick wood, which almost all of these lasers, and especially the X-Tool P2, cuts quarter inch plywood and wood like butter. It's no problem at all. So many of the patterns will work fine for that. Um, I have somewhere between, somewhere around 4,000 patterns in there, and I would say a good 60% of them will work on your laser. And all you have to do is take my pattern, which comes as a PDF, import it into the free program Inkscape, and then export the pages that you need, the pattern pages, as SVG files, and then you can take them right into your laser. Uh, now the new Xtool, or the new Inkscape program, imports multiple pages, so it's a lot easier to do. All you have to do is select the pages you want, I make sure that all the patterns that are in my PDFs, the pattern pages remain uh, high resolution SVG files. So they're easy to export and run right into your laser. So you're more than welcome to go over and give those a try. And I'll just show you a few more. Now most of these are all scaled down 50% because I'm not doing anything with them, I'm just test fitting. So you can imagine something like this is a little bit bigger than what I'm showing you here. Well, it's 50% bigger. So there's a, a wolf scene. Uh, I've got a little cup that you can put your name on. I've got things like this truck, little big wheel truck. And I do a lot of box type patterns. Here's a box with a hinge lid and a drawer. And again, that's 50% size, so you can imagine it's a little bigger. Here's a cross that I did. This would be easy to cut on the laser. I've got, I had a sponsor over at Clingspore Woodworking Shop, and I did a little semi-truck for Clingspore, which turned out pretty cool. 
and I needed to test cut it, so I put it on the laser. I do things like, I do a lot of holiday type patterns. Here's a Halloween spider that I made that's in the catalog. Here's a little trash bin. As you can tell, this is 50%. The real one's 10 inches tall. But you can see a lot of fretwork type stuff. And that's probably most of what I have to show you right now. I do, again, there's thousands of patterns over at my catalog. Uh, so now let's get into a little bit about the quality of the X-Tool and how helpful it's been. I want to throw in a quick tip here for you that uh, caused me a little bit of problem because I hadn't used this uh, type of bed before and uh, it took me a while to figure it out honestly. This laser, you lay your pieces on a bed of slats. These slats run front to back on the machine and there's like maybe 30 of them in the machine and you lay your project on those and that's what they burn. I love the way they work because they give a lot of smoke extraction. The smoke extraction on this machine is wonderful. Again, I've got it in my office. I do have it vented out the window, but I have no problem with odor or smoke. So they work really well. The problem that I ran into with these is I had a lot of projects where I would get this burning on the back side of the project. And I just thought it was hitting the metal slats and reflecting off of them. What I found is I'm able to get near perfect burns with these slats just by keeping them clean. The residue that comes off of the wood as you burn builds up on these slats. And if you don't clean them, when the laser goes across these slats, the residue catches on fire. There's a lot, it doesn't stay lit, but there's a lot of enough smoke generated uh, that it actually lands on the back of your project. So if you get one of these or you use slats, keep them clean. It really makes a big difference. They're not easy to clean. Uh, I've got a couple of formulas that I use to get them clean and you can see this one, uh, you probably can't see, but this one's still a little dirty. It needs to be, it needs to take a scotch, a scotch bright pad with my formula that I use to clean them with and get it a little cleaner than it even is. But keep these clean. Okay, for this clip, I'm gonna hand hold the camera here just for a second. So excuse the shakiness. When you're using the Creative Space software, you've got a camera, everything lines up really, actually you've got two cameras, so lining everything up is super easy. But if you're using Lightburn and you don't have the camera, because this one, the machine does have a built-in camera, there's no red dot laser that points down to where the laser is going to strike. So it's a little more difficult to line things up. So when I'm using Creative Space, which honestly I use it quite a bit unless I'm in a hurry and need light burn, what I do is I take and I put these little wooden uh, spacers here that show this point right here is the home position of the laser. So if I take my wood and I line it up like this, I know that at the zero, zero point, that's where my wood begins. It makes it a little bit easier to line things up. Another issue you can get into with slats, whoops, the focus happened there, is that the small pieces, or sometimes the pieces you want to keep, will fall through the slats, and when the laser comes back around, if they didn't fall exactly in place, the laser will burn a piece that you actually need to keep. So luckily, X-Tool just recently announced a honeycomb that fits the bed of this laser and locks into place. I haven't purchased it yet, but I guarantee you I'm going to buy it because there are times when a honeycomb is needed, especially if you're cutting small parts. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up here because just give you my general overall thoughts of this machine. Um, I've got another uh, known name brand Chinese laser over there that I've had for years. It works great. This is better. The only thing that that has over this one is the fact that it is fully compatible with light burn. Uh, but this X-Tool, twice as expensive as the Chinese laser, but the quality is just outstanding. So if you're in the market for a laser and you have the ability to either afford the cost of this laser or use it in your business to make the money back from it, then the X-Tool is a good machine. I've watched a lot of reviews on it. Most people seem to be pretty happy with the quality, and I'm in that camp. I think the quality is outstanding. So, I'm Steve Good. Thanks for watching my video, and we'll catch you next time here at Scroll Saw Workshop.